Um, once more Alice looked about. The world around her suffused so with rose light, it seemed to offer itself to the view for the very last time. That moment every flower seems to glow most like itself in that misting hour as the sun declines. Sorry, I haven't seen your rabbit, someone seemed to gossip. So if not here, not today, Alice cast about and about. No one there but her, no bird twittering with a plain sense of things from among the leaves, no bathers bathing in some homely stream, no rustic clippers clipping those majestical croquet hedges, no hedgehogs there hedging about. Another wondrous city evacuated. But there, some departing sound, not unlike the dim rattling on distant roofs, the drizzle of shrapnel dropped so methodically it had come to seem part of the day to day. No, it was more like some odd, insistent tick tock, someone's clock. Uneasily, Alice looked about, and there on a lonesome rock lay that rabbit watch, his war scored pocket watch, that worn silver moon casting a, catching a breath on some sunlit ledge. Once more she looked, and there he stood, her white rabbit. The light just catching the third curve of his ears, so proud in his frayed hospital gown, the perpetual afternoon of his eyes succumbing to the coming pageant of evening. You, she said. His shoulders near shivered, then shrugged abashed. He so light to the end. Still here, he asked her eyes, said yes, as if somehow she knew some deeper self looking on him. Somehow he nodded yes. A parting gift, she almost said, but hesitated. For she found herself most with him, only within the silences. And so, with no word said, she looked again and saw him once again, as first she had. Battling the nervy May wind for control of his fluttering paperback pages, every inch the white rabbit already in his double-breasted Edwardian jacket. Now here he stood all these years later, one moment more still him. Though he seemed to be fighting back tears, tears which were not his, or were perhaps not only his, as he said all he said, all he left still unsaid. I can't tell you what it's meant to come here once again, to run here once again. She felt herself nod as if what she looked at were what she were in. And this is her internal thought. Don't let's say more, Alfred, don't let's. But he again, I hope you will remember how it was. She nodded again. In the story, he said, there's no moment of farewell, you know. She knew. Hearing within her that hymn from the other side of memory, the end sound of a summer without end, don't let it. He wants more, and so, with no further word, he turned to go, but she could not, please don't. And the back of him did not, did not go. He could not. Not her rabbit, not yet. However, with the sun remains still there. But see the back of him etched there, still there, the back of her rabbit in his waistcoat. She would see him forever, she knew, there by the desolate rock, forever on that hill in Wonderland. Yet once more he turned toward her. One last look. For Alfred in his frail robe, forever look there. Again she looked, and this time thought. Alice turned one page. I loved him. I still love him. Yes. Mm -hmm.